Gabriel and Reese, they're busy hiding, and then Bear's gonna track them and find them. Uh, the whole thing should be fairly quick. It's basically just a refresher on a track and to demonstrate how we do it. July 18, 2020, and you'll see there we started off at the car. This is a school field, so as you can imagine, there's a lot of different scent on the school field, and that's why we use it. Uh, there's also horses that were riding past, a lot of horses, and obviously all these uh, scents, uh, even though we can't smell it, the dog can smell it, from manure to cows to horses to children to, to everything. And that's why we use this specific field. It, if the dog can track through a school field and a schoolyard, etc., the dog's going to be able to track anywhere. And that's basically why we use it. So yeah, we use Reese's drone. You'll see Gabriel was busy following me, and it's quite thick bush. It doesn't look like it from from above, but it, you would never be able just by the naked eye to to see someone lying down or injured or collapsed in the bushes. So that's why we use the dog. So in this case, it's Reese. Uh, the track is about five minutes long, it's edited to just over a minute and you'll see how the drone covers us nicely on how we actually uh, a track and the dog basically air sends and ground sends and manages to locate Reese fairly quickly, you'll see over there. So after this we do a second one with Gabriel, which is his son, also went missing. The two then wandered off and we used the sock, a Gabriel sock to discriminate between all the different scents. So you'll see here and she finds Reese. And that's it, and she'll go down after finding him, and he's collapsed. So, there we go. That's that brilliant track. He has a second one on lead. Both tracks are on lead. Uh, the reason is because of the horses that were around, and there's just too many horses, it's too much of a risk to let the dog run loose with a horse galloping up and down, or few horses. So, everything was on lead. On an off lead, we are just unclip her, and all this air scent where she's going around in circles and up and down would be ignored and she'll basically self-discriminate between all that and she'll take me straight to the person, she'll come back, bark and tell me. There's other videos on here of how she does that as well. So this on lead track is specifically for times when I don't feel that it's good just to let her run loose for whatever reason, whether it's traffic, cars, etc. So you'll see here, in both tracks, the wind is not blowing into our faces. So in other words, she cannot air scent. The wind is blowing towards our backs. So you'll see now she's actually ground scenting. So she's on the ground, smelling, smelling, smelling where they walked. And now you'll see, whoop, she does a U-turn. Because now she's lifted her head and she's got a whip that they're behind us. And she takes me straight to them. So this is a combination of ground and air scenting. Uh, she specifically does ground scenting. And the reason we taught that was because she can also track around shopping centers and on concrete. So yeah, two very, very good tracks. There's Reese and uh, Gabriel. And that's it, located. Awesome uh, day in the sun.